the Nürburgring, one of the world's most famous racetracks. More than 100,000 spectators want to see the four truck races and a lot more. Willkommen am Nürburgring. The track in the Eiffel is also a good circuit for Jochen Hahn. He collects 42 points over the weekend and keeps his lead in the European Truck Racing Championship. The famous Nürburgring is a silent witness for the 33rd Truck Grand Prix. On the grid for race one, Antonio Albacete in the MAN takes pole position, the first for him since Harama 2017. 24 thousandths of a second behind is Jochen Hahn in the Iveco. There are plenty of fans in the grandstands. Race one underway, 22 trucks on the run to the first corner. Albacete keeps the lead. On board with Sasha Lentz starting from fifth. With a poor start though, he gets in trouble. He's touched by Andre Kurzim and around he goes. Looking back from Adam Lachko's truck, around goes Lentz. He also films the contact between Rene Reinert and Steffi Halm. Reinert effectively out of the race after that damage. Albatheti lead, Hahn is second, Norbert Kish is third. Lachko goes fourth at the expense of Steffi Halm. That's how the result stays, with the fans on their feet to applaud the drivers. And the chequered flag, Antonio Albafetti wins from Jochen Hahn, with Norby Kish taking third place. On the podium, Antonio Albafetti in the middle, flanked by Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kish. The grid for race two is the result of race one, with the top eight reversed. That means that the pole sitter is Gert Kurber with Andre Kurzim alongside. Two Germans on the front row and Kurber keeps the lead on the run down to turn one. Kurzim goes for the inside line, but Steffi Halm takes full advantage of that and goes second. There's bad luck for Kurber though on lap two. The windscreen has broken and the glass falls into the cab. Steffi Halm overtakes Kurber on lap three, coming out of the Mercedes arena and takes over the race lead. Korba is still second, Lachko is third, and a fight behind Kish and Hahn sees Hahn go up the escape road. He loses seven places and falls to 12th, as there's applause for Steffi Halm and Gert Korba at the chequered flag. A 1-2 for the Schwaben truck team, the first ever double victory in ETRC history. Steffi Halm, Gert Korba and Adam Lachko on the podium. On the Saturday evening, Country musician Tom Astor entertains the crowd. Race three on Sunday morning. Jochen Hahn is the man on pole position. Antonio Albafetti lining up alongside him. At the start, Albafetti overtakes Hahn and leads into the first corner. The MAN fends off the Iveco, a crucial move putting the Spaniard into the lead. But there's contact between the two. Hahn hits Albafetti at the Bilstein curve and forces him wide into the gravel. Plenty of drama early in the race as well. Lachko and Kish getting together and Sasha Lentz being a victim of it. Lachko's truck suffers big damage, but he carries on. Bodywork flies. Lachko sees Kish and Steffi Halm get together, and that does for the tyre on Halm's rig. She slides out wide and heads for the pit lane and retirement. Ollie Jane sees a sliding Lewis Rafenko ahead of him. There's big contact between the two. Lots of damage to Rafenko's rig. And Ollie Jane suffers a punctured tyre. He limps to the pit lane. Rafenko out of the race as well. The next victim is Norbert Kish. He pulls into retirement. He 
yellow flags wave, but it's the chequered flag for Jochen Hahn. He takes his fifth win of the season, Rene Reinert crossing the line second, but he gets a five-second penalty for cutting the chicane and drops to third behind Antonio Albafetti. Race four on Sunday has Anthony Janiak on pole position on the reverse grid of the top eight with Jose Rodriguez alongside. The run to the first corner. Janiak on the inside, the ex-Formula 3 racer trying to hang on to the advantage. Rodriguez goes deep, however, into turn one, runs really wide and loses place after place. Sasha Lent is busy trying to work his way up from mid-grid. Up front is Janiak leading the way from Get Korba with Lachko third and Andre Kurzim in fourth place. Lachko makes a move against Korba down towards the first corner and there's contact between them. Janiak gets involved as well, but Korba is out of the race with damage. On board with Kurzim, Lachko attacking Janiak for the lead, but Kurzim moves through and takes second place. Three leaders being caught by Alba Fetti and then Hahn, then Steffi Helm and Ryan Smith who've worked their way up from the back of the grid, but Anthony Janiak it is who takes the race win. Andre Kurzim second over the line, but he loses that second place after the race because of a 30-second penalty. As Morgan Kish celebrates with donuts. The podium is Janiak, Kurzim and Lachko, but Kurzim penalised and he falls to 12th place. Jochen Hahn leaves as the championship leader, Adam Lachko second and Norbert Kish third.